Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time to meet Team 264. Tom Crawford, my longtime radio partner, Blue Belly Tom, and he is co-host of The Drive with Jack and Tom on the Spotlight Radio Network, heard anywhere, anytime at jackandtom.com. How are you, Tom? I'm doing great. Six days away to October 20th, that day we keep talking about. Yeah. And uh, Michigan, Michigan State both did there. You know, had great efforts this weekend, big wins. That sets it up for noon at Spartan Stadium on Saturday. Are you more excited than you were when you were six years old waiting for Christmas? <laughs> Uh, probably, well, there's, a, there's some anxiety that goes with this. And so Rico and I were talking before the show. Sometimes it's not, this week is not so much fun. There's so much animosity and everything. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what happens. I uh, want to welcome Rico Beard, a longtime Detroit radio and TV personality, Specs Howard broadcast instructor, recruiting insider, and most important, he is the host of the Spartan Beat from noon to two weekdays on the Spotlight Radio Network. How are you, Rico? Jack, um, I'm sick of his fan base already. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is. I'm probably about to put out a new rule. We haven't got to Monday, and already rule, we've got this, rule. right? Seriously, Rico rule. I mean, either I leave Twitter. I normally just leave yeah. Twitter. I yeah. normally leave Twitter two weeks. It's like a vacation. I leave two weeks beforehand. I recommend that. And Why I come back, that? either that or, you know what? If you don't have 100 followers, don't even tweet at me. <laughs> yeah. Don't even do it because I don't care what you think with your community college, dropped out, whatever, whatever. Okay? Ooh. Graduate from Michigan, show me a degree, and then I'll listen. Until then, <laughs> kick rocks. Here's a challenge for you, Rico. See if you can have fewer tweets read and sent this week than Tom Izzo. <laughs> well, he doesn't have any. He can't have any. You know what? Zero, you honestly, you two should just go home and just... Leave us up here. <laughs> I mean, we have to referee this. At whole least I get, about got here. a degree from Michigan, so I can communicate Tom, to Tom, you. Tom, I'm listening. Right. That's, you, a, that's you, allowed. Tom, this is like good. a Connor and a Beeb, I think, uh, Graham. So you Tom, know, we got to be careful. On this. No one's do. climbing out of the cage. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we want to welcome Graham Couch, Lansing State Journal sports columnist and co-host of Couch and the Rube. That is 10 to noon weekdays on the Spotlight Radio Network. You just got back, right? State College? I did. I got back about 6.30 today. Drove my little rental sports car all the way home. Nice drive on I-80 <laughs> from a game I never thought would happen. And yeah. uh, it changes things a little bit, but I don't know how much. We'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. At least it makes it a little more interesting than it would have been. It, re right? it re-energizes, it resets Michigan State season a little yeah. bit, and, it, and it, I think it restores faith for a lot of people. Still have an opportunity to do great things. They went out, and they'll be Big Ten champions. We'll be right back here on Press Pass. Some dealers will try to convince you that they have the lowest prices around. The truth is, GM sets the same price for all the dealers. We know that price matters. We know that you want the most car for your money. We know what you're looking for when buying a new car. You want someone to make it fast, easy, and enjoyable. You want someone to get you the right car at the right price. And that's our commitment to you here at Sawyer Chevrolet. Ashley Home Store's Columbus Day Sale is extended through this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Save up to 50% store-wide, plus save an extra 10% on selected items, including free local delivery and setup, with up to 72 months no interest financing. Or pay $5 down with no credit check and no minimum purchase. Over $1 million of inventory must go. No credit needed, $5 down and no minimum purchase. And get up to 72 months interest-free financing, plus $300 in Ashley cash at our mattress gallery. Ashley Home Store's Columbus Day Sale is extended this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in Lansing only. Get two rebates this month from American Metal Roofs. First, get an authorized manufacturer's rebate of up to $5,000. Plus, get a 50% rebate on our high flow ridge vents. Call 844 Metal Roofs or visit AmericanMetalRoofs.com. Let MSU Federal Credit Union help create your dream home. Get a home equity line of credit with a six month promotional rate of 2.99%. Visit MSUFCU.org to learn more. I need an airway. The Resident, all new, Mondays at 8, 7 central on Fox. Team Spirit. Face paint. 
more cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. The Student Bookstore is your green and white shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet, a trusted friend with 104 years in the automobile business. Stop and see Matt, Mark, and Greg on West Grand River in Okemos. They'll take great care of you, as they have on all six of my leases and purchases. Go green, go Graf. We knew it was going to be a fight coming in here. Um, now you talk about people are going to throw punches back and forth. You know, they're going to throw punches out as we're going at them. And, you know, that big play... Um, you know, we responded. We got off the ground from that big play. Uh, they hit us again for another one. Um, it's a good back. We got to work on our tackling a little more. But, uh, you know, overall very happy. You know, we stayed in the fight the whole game. And, uh, you know, you come out the end when you give your chance, your offensive chance to win. Michigan State middle linebacker, Joe Bocci Jr. Do need to work on tackling a little bit. That was uh, the worst tackling attempt I've ever seen from Joe Bocci on Threw a shoulder Miles into him a little Sanders, bit. Yeah. Both no, long no runs. On that one. Both long runs, his responsibility. But he did a great job uh, in terms of Trace McSorley, who had less than half as many yards yesterday, total offense as he had against Ohio State. Uh, Rico Beard, a week ago, you were as down on Michigan State football as I have ever seen you. What happened, and why is everyone so surprised with the results at Beaver Stadium? Well, as I should. I mean, that team gave away a game against Northwestern, and, you know, Northwestern is an average team, and you had better players than Northwestern. Yeah. What happened? First place in the Big Ten West now, by the way. Whatever. <laughs> what happened? Um, two words, and you know I'm happy to say these two oh, words. Oh, jeez, here we go. James Franklin. James Franklin. James Franklin showed he can recruit. He's not a big game coach. He melts under pressure. When, when games are close, he had the better talent. Just like last year, they should have won, and they just didn't throw the ball. Michigan State's secondary is not that good, but they were trying to run the ball like most Big Ten teams do, and you didn't let Trace McSorley just be Trace McSorley. I didn't see the team that played Ohio State yesterday. Now, some of that you can credit to Michigan State, but some of that is – you know, Trace McSorley didn't get bad in two weeks. He wasn't very sharp yesterday, Graham. Uh, you watched him. Uh, he wasn't hitting receivers. He was overthrowing receivers. He wasn't the Trace McSorley we've seen. No, but that, that's who Trace McSorley can be, too. Yeah. He is not always the most accurate passer. Yeah. And that's what you want to do. You want to try and make them one-dimensional. The fact that they had those two big runs early, though, and then still won. If you had told me before the game they were going to give up two big runs, yeah. which has been their bread and butter defensively and still win, I would have told you you were crazy. And the one run, Rico, was more yards for Miles Sanders than any opponent Everybody. had but rushed for against Michigan. That one, that, that's okay, because I've seen that before. I remember yeah. in 2013, Indiana. Tevin Coleman. Yeah, hit that long run, yeah. and I was just like, okay, and they adjusted. It was the second one, when you went through six tacklers. Yeah. When Joe ba the captain, yeah. throws the shoulder instead of just the old-fashioned, I'm going to wrap you up. Everybody goes for the big ESPN shoulder hit, yeah. and Miles Sanders runs in the end. It's like, what, what just happened here? But... They, they, they came back, and I think what happened, they needed this win. This team found its swag, and that's what's been missing from this team. Tom, what was the reaction in the press box at Michigan Stadium? Uh, it's, it's interesting. There was some, whoa! You know, I mean, you know, me, you're so, you know, yelling in this press box. We know that's that rule. But it was, right. a, it was the way that Michigan State came back. And, yeah. and, and, you know, I was, I didn't see it coming. You know, I said it earlier in the year because I've never been sold on, uh, on Penn State. Right. But, um but, man, with 90% of your offensive line out, it was a huge win for Michigan State, indeed. Graham, you were there for homecoming in Unhappy Valley. What did Brian Lewerke drink at halftime? And how did Michigan State do what no one thought was going to happen? Some of what Rico just said. There was a swagger that they found. They hung around. They hung in there. It looked like Brian Lewerke was losing a little confidence in the first half. And then they found it. And, and they, they started featuring Felton Davis. Like, this wasn't just the grit that Michigan State has under Mark D'Antonio, the back against the wall thing yeah. that they do. Look, that's something they do well. Yeah. That is when they are at their best. 
there were a lot of tactical adjustments made. The zone blocking, the yeah. way they spread people out, the way they really featured Felton Davis. He had seven catches, 88 yards, two touchdowns in the second half. That is your big time guy. They found him, and that is really the path for them going forward. No coaches fired this week? No coaches fired this week, no. Why is it that Mark D'Antonio's teams are so dangerous when things seem to be the most hopeless? Well, some of it is, and Felton Davis talked about this, that it is a, these guys are chip on their shoulder guys, right? It goes back to recruiting. It's who this program is. You are it when you get there. And so when you embody something, that's just what you're better at. They're not so much more talented than Northwestern that's their identity, necessarily then, basically. that they're going to blow you off. The, so you have to have that chip. That chip energizes you. And I think yeah. that that's part they're, of it. They're told you're not good enough. I yeah. mean, when they, yeah. they see you're 13, you're a two touchdown underdog to Penn yeah. State. Everybody wrote you off. There were people saying you should bet your mortgage. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't because you're homeless if you did. But I mean, yeah, that's why it's, it's it is that chip. It's they're told you're not that good, and this other team is better. And you know when you have people coming out there saying we got the best offensive line ever in college football, and we're just going to handle our business, right. they hear that stuff, they internalize it, and and then and then they pound you. I thought Michigan State would be nine or two, ten and one. I said the one game they'd be most likely to lose was that one. Tom Crawford, big credit to you because. All along, you were saying that was a game Michigan State could win, and then you flipped on it a little bit well, last I, week. I yeah, understand you got, why. You, you, you understand hurt, why right? everybody else, everybody at this table thought Penn State was going to win. Yeah, you get everybody injured. Including this so, guy. We'll be right back with more. We're going to talk about football from the Michigan standpoint. Out of the blue, up next. Dad, it's the first day of Graf truck season. Oh, the new Silverado is amazing. It'll be amazing if you don't scare him away. There's one now. Drive off a new Silverado double cab, just $149 a month. Hey, that's not a truck. No, but it's still a trophy deal. Get a new Equinox LT, just $72 a month. And Graf will double the value of your trade-in, up to $4,000. I'm gonna get me one. Why don't you try these keys instead? Bag your best deal now, only at a Graf dealership near you. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing, playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And Bill. Strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration, these are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. You know, sometimes you get your little brother excited when you let him get the lead, and then you just come back and take it back. If they want to mock us, I'm telling them it's not over. When brothers fight, you stay out of the way. Michigan, Michigan State, Saturday, only on Fox 47. Last man standing. Weeknights at 7.30 on Fox 47. Catch the savings at Capital Honda. New 2018 Honda Accord LX, just $249 a month. Or new 2018 Honda Civic LX, only $169 a month. During the Honda Summer Spectacular event at Capital Honda. Because you should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. With the David Chapman Agency, auto owners insurance policies come with something extra. Local agents who care about you. Our agents will help you find the right coverage at the best price. Three generations serving you at the David Chapman Agency, your local auto owners insurance agent. If you're not well, but it's not an emergency, choose Sparrow Fast Care for things like infections, the flu, allergies, even the common cold. But if you need x-rays, stitches, or to mend some broken bones, then choose Sparrow Urgent Care. From Lansing, DeWitt to Okemos, to East Lansing, Mason, and Grand Ledge, and now open on Michigan Avenue in Lansing. Walk in or check in online at sparrowcares.org. Sparrow Fast Care and Sparrow Urgent Care. Healthcare at the speed of life. Everybody know <clears throat> Wisconsin likes to run the ball, um, you know, so we just went in. You know, it was it wasn't nothing too big that they were doing on their part, you know, to break open those couple yeah, runs. Uh, it was just, you know, us not being as disciplined as we were supposed to. So going into halftime, you know, it feels like we're good, we're in a good spot. You know, everybody just do their, do their job, you know, play your role, and we should be that is Michigan defensive back Josh Metellus after the Wolverines 38-13 win over Wisconsin. 
And Jonathan Taylor rushed for 101 yards, 5.9 yards per carry, but they didn't have any chances. Uh, Wisconsin only had 49 offensive plays, and Jonathan Taylor had more yards running the ball than Alex Hornibrook had throwing the ball, a 101 to 100. Uh, Graham Couch, uh, you have watched Michigan evolve uh, through the early parts of this season. Uh, how have the Wolverines done that, and how dangerous is Jim Harbaugh's team? I think they're very dangerous, and I think part of that is they, Shea Patterson looks more comfortable in that offense. That defense that early on I thought had a chance to be special and really carry them is close to special. They're not, they're not like 2013 Michigan State where you'd see somebody overwhelm you, but I think they can... I think it's a pretty, I mean, you look what they did to Hornibrook. Yeah. He's having a bad season. Let's be honest. He is not developed in the quarterback I thought he would be when he was He's young. Regressed. He has regressed. Still, that said, they are a team that can dominate you, and they weren't there a few weeks ago, and that's, that's something to notice. Tom, you were there for the maze out and for the dismantling of Wisconsin. Uh, how has this team done it? Are you prepared to say that they're getting close to where they need to be to make a real serious run here to get a Big Ten championship, or is it finally a win over a ranked team. Well, I mean, and last year was kind of fool's goal when they were undefeated at this time. This is not fool's goal. This is an offense that's getting much more physical. The offensive line is coming together. The RPO with Shea Patterson. I mean, I've said this to people all along, or, and press row with me. Once, once whoever's calling the signals on it, you know, Pep, you know, Pep Hamilton or Jim Harbaugh, once you let him out in an RPO role, repass option, get him out in space, that really stresses a defense. And yeah. that's what really stressed out Wisconsin. That along on the defensive side of the, of the thing, you know, Rashawn Gary was hurt, but you have younger guys stepping in and, and Quiddy Pay and some others and making big plays. So it was both sides of the ball. There you see uh, Rashad Wild Goose Jr. chasing him down the yeah. sidelines. I guess that counts as a wild goose chase, right? Yeah, I mean, that, and, and this, you know, we, we don't know. I mean, they still have to do it on the road against a ranked team. That's the true litmus test for Michigan. I expected this. It was a 10-point favorite of the four games, of the big games that remain. This is probably one of the easiest ones. Penn State is an easy one, despite the fact he's guaranteeing a victory for Penn State over, over Michigan. The toughest one is Saturday in East Lansing. Tougher than the Ohio State game? Uh, well, of these three right the now. Three. Yeah, but you know what? To be honest with you, I'll say yes, okay. because Ohio State's defense is weak. Ohio State's bored right now. Okay, They're whatever. Just bored. whatever. Play of the game, though. You know what the play of the game was? The, f the flag, oh, personal oh, yeah. foul, you know what? you're knocked over the, you know the, the long snapper. Wisconsin would have won that game if, the, if they didn't have that rough no, in the snap. No, right, that turned, no, the, that turned it. You're no, right, right. Was it. Well, actually it was. It was yeah, a seven-point yeah, game. Yeah, that turned it. Yeah. Seven-point game. Mention theater major, though. That was a pretty good job of drawing. Oh, my God, it was. Gone the other way, he game He could play soccer. Let's put it like that. When Michigan wins the turnover battle, as it did, 2 nothing, including a pick six, extremely difficult to beat the Wolverines. It is. Over the years. With that kind of deal. To, to Graham's point, yeah, this, this defense could be something special, especially if they get a couple guys back who have been hurt, including Russia. I think the de their defense, the thing I like about them is it's like they smell blood in the water and they attack. And once they get that nick on you, they don't stop. You said that the Wolverines hadn't proven anything except an ability to pound bad teams. Are you ready to change that opinion? Based on Saturday. No, I'm not ready to change that opinion whatsoever. Wisconsin's a bad team, right? You know what? I don't know if Wisconsin's closer to last year's Florida or if they just had. I, I don't know what I saw. Wisconsin looked like the team that lost at home to BYU to you. They looked worse than that. I mean, they looked like the Horning Brook was like, dude, three passes. Michigan uh, could beat Alabama, and all of a sudden, Bama's well, we a know weak that's pick. never going to happen because they're not going to beat Alabama. You actually got to make it to the playoffs. You, now. It's not in the end. You got to get 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 the no, that's not going to happen. You can play Alabama again. Yeah, you got to do a lot of steps. You just don't get to go to Alabama because Jimmy's your coach. No one cares. We'll now. be right back. We're going to look at the national landscape. The big picture up next here on Press Pass. The Big Ten plays here. Michigan State and Michigan football's home is Fox 47. Proud season-long partners include the David Chapman Agency. Visit us at davidchapmanagency.com. Sparrow. Choose wisely. Choose Sparrow. And your neighborhood Michigan Ford dealers. Visit us to test drive the exclusive Pure Michigan F-150. Every game is everything. Fox 47. The Big Ten plays here. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. 
How are we gonna fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. GM employee program participants with a current eligible GM lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Encore for $129 a month. 911 all new Monday on Fox. The Knapp Center is a historical hub for future business growth in beautiful downtown Lansing. The Ad Company did the best they could to preserve the integrity of the history of this building while incorporating a modern open workspace. They have been prompt, they have been efficient, and they really are a friendly, great group of people that we don't have any concerns about calling them for any of our needs. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the Eid Company family. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green, made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango. And Caribbean Seaburst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience including daily casino runs and great getaways to Northern Michigan and Chicago, where Doug Warren and I were for the NFL Legends Classic. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Yeah, you just gotta handle it one week at a time. That's why we don't make projections. That's why we don't read the newspaper. Uh, I'm sure my guys read it, I don't. The projections, you know, it didn't do these guys anything to be ranked the way they were. That, that doesn't win football games. Uh, we take it one week at a time, one day at a time, see what we can do. Uh, th uh, Monday's going to be Tell the Truth Monday, then we're going to move on. We're going to press on to Mississippi State. They're a darn good football team, another tremendous challenge. That is LSU head coach, the gravelly voiced Ed Orgeron. Right out of swamp people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom Crawford, the upsets just keep coming. I think it's safe to say the Pac-12 is out of the college football playoff And picture. I think the Big 12 no. took a hit with West Virginia going West down. West Virginia going down. Because now who's, how's Texas going to, you know, who are they going to okay. beat to get yeah. them to legitimize? Uh, they're not going to beat Maryland because they've already had that chance and yeah. lost that one. There's also right. another conference that only has one team that can help them. Yeah. Because you guys neutered Wisconsin. So if Ohio State doesn't run the table, Big Ten may oh, not go Michigan either. Michigan still got a shot. Uh, Michigan has a shot, right? This no, is what I hate no, about the no, playoffs, no, right? Gets no, in? There are no, four no. spots in their five conferences. Yeah. Who did that math? I mean, seriously, it creates this needless angst. It's ridiculous. It's, ridiculous. it's totally ridiculous. Really if, you're if you're a college president, if you're a college president, you were for this. Yeah. I have zero respect. I would be, yeah, I'd, be, I'd be so zero embarrassed respect. right now. There are a lot of college it, presidents who weren't for any playoffs. It sounds but weird, but if that game yesterday was closer and a rematch would have been like, oh, it's a rematch, but because you pounded them, you kind of neutered Wisconsin. So whoever plays Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game won't be considered a No, it'll be Ohio victory. State or Michigan. There, there are two Big Ten teams that can still make the playoffs, and Michigan's one of them. Yep, and Ohio State. Tom, too. what else did you learn yesterday in the press box or watching college football? Uh, when you got back, I know you tried to take in uh, what was available from the night games. Uh, I got back at, at one, uh, one. Well, you watched, I'm sure, the no. highlight shows. No, I, and I got there early, and so I'm watch, we're all watching on the screens. We're watching on my computer. I mean, Georgia going down to LSU like we just saw. I mean, that was a shocker. But who is any good? I mean, I'm going to go to the Big Ten. How do we know the Big Ten is any good? They have one quality win in non-conference play. Maryland beating Texas. Where else do you get your credibility as a conference when you're just beating each other? That's incestual. Oh, you know Ohio what I mean? State, Ohio State. Oh, yeah, TCU. Where are they ranked this week? They're not. They stink. They got three losses. Where's the credibility win? Maybe it's Michigan State over Utah State. Maybe that's the big that? win. Maybe Utah the big State win. scored 279 points. Yeah. I don't know. That's weeks. why I don't know 
any of these teams right. right now. You really don't. That's why you have to have five power five, automatic bursts, three at large. Let's get it done. This we is go. Ridiculous. Notre Dame survived a scare, oh, yeah. came back and barely get, got past Pittsburgh. Would you bet that it's Bama, Ohio State, Clemson, and Notre Dame? Seal it right now, or do you think some other team's going to surprise us? Uh, I think some other team's going to surprise us. I would take three of those four. I think Notre Dame is just flirting and playing with fire too much, yeah. and eventually they're going to get caught. Could lose at USC? It's, it's just going to be one of these Northwest games. Westers? It's, it's going to be one of those games that we're going to be like, wow, Notre Dame just who lost. Is, who is Clemson beat? Nobody. Nobody, but Clemson is Clemson. You know what? Because you've been to the college yeah. championship game, you're kind of grandfathered in. That's like not, it or not, that's, that's not how right. college football uh, that's works. And Notre Dame's joke. problem is a lot of years, Notre Dame, I think, could lose a game and get in. Yeah. Yeah. Their schedule this year, it's got a lot of good brands, right. but those aren't good teams. Right. So they're, it, and It's kind of like Michigan one. State hoops last year. You played all these teams, but they all stunk, and yeah. your strength of schedule wasn't good. Right. You got no points for that. I mean, it's Alabama, seriously, and then Ohio State, I think, will run the table. And Clemson will run the table only because there's nobody else there. Miami's the only team, and they just lost. That's the playoffs a joke. And Georgia now, that diminishes the chance for the SEC to get two exactly. teams in, That's a one, which is yeah. the narrative we were all talking about. Which we don't want. Well, yeah. Georgia would have to beat Alabama, which not, not going to happen. Gonna happen. So that's no chance of that. Right. right. No. Graham, uh, let's take a look at this week's Associated Press Top 25. And last week's Top 10 went 5-4 and four with one bye. Uh, what do you think of this week's poll? Which team is too high on this list and which is too low? <laughs> well, that's a good question. You know, first of all, I don't believe in the poll because I know who's voting for it, right? It's yeah. people who didn't see the games. They're covering one game. Like Chris Solari votes in this poll. Yeah. He worked all day yesterday. Yeah. He saw one game, and he put together a top 25. <laughs> so it's, an irrelevant, it's a re an irrelevant discussion in some ways. I think Wisconsin at this point it, it is probably, uh, should probably fall out of the poll. What, what I find is Iowa interesting, climbing up to 19. Yeah. They do have that loss, Wisconsin. They're probably a little bit too high as well. But, you know, they, it was an impressive win. Indiana's a comparable team or a, a, a competitive team. Um, LSU is a team I'm watching. LSU is a team I think has a chance to factor in this. I love that they play Bama soon. I want to see that game. I would love to see an Ohio State-LSU game with Dwayne Haskins and Joe Burrow. Going against each other, right? That's how good Ohio State is. Yeah. They loaned LSU a quarterback and didn't miss a beat. Not bad. Take what Joe about Burrow. Texas? What should we make out of Texas? I can't buy Texas yet. No. I, I, well, I can't. Yeah. Tom, you know Texas football. I know Texas very well. But, yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to break their, 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 the heart of their fans for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sold on them. You know, because I don't think Oklahoma's that good. So where's their credible win? So this is what we know at this point. Nobody's any good. Yeah, Except for Alabama bad. and everybody Let's else. Have a it's situation. Run it off. We'll be right back. Our Spartan sparring segment brought to you by Steakhouse Philly, talking about this week's matchup in Spartan Stadium. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris. Uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. The Big Bang Theory has moved. Moving is a big deal. You have to go to the supermarket and get boxes, and if they're not clean, then your books smell like melons. We've done the heavy lifting. Is it hard getting up the stairs? Oh, no. Oh. Big Bang is now on weeknights at 6, followed by Fox 47 News at 6.30. Von Miller in the Broncos D. Take on Josh Rosen in the Cardinals. Broncos versus Cardinals on Thursday Night Football. I'm like a truce machine. Weekdays starting at 4 on Fox 47. If you're looking for a truly local dealership, if you're looking for a truly honest dealership, or if you're looking for a truly family dealership, then you're looking for Sawyer Chevrolet Superstar. You never overpay at Sawyer Chevrolet. 
you have our word on it. Honey, how do you like my dress? I love it. That floor looks amazing. Stop in to Discount Carpet for the Fall Shaw Floor Sale now through November 17. Get floored this fall. Imagine what you can do. Get started today at Lansing Community College. If you're looking for a truly local dealership, if you're looking for a truly honest dealership, or if you're looking for a truly family dealership, then you're looking for Sawyer Chevrolet Superstore. You never overpay at Sawyer Chevrolet. You have our word on it. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Spartan Sparring segment, brought to you by a new sponsor, Steakhouse Philly at Kalamazoo and Clipper. My after work and game day stop for great Greek food and sports conversation. Charlie Summerly, my favorite Matt Patricia clone, and his terrific staff will make you glad you stopped and sad you ever had to leave. This is the last play of the game. Penn State finds itself behind 19 seconds to go. Trace McSorley rolling out. Brandon Randall in pursuit. Heaves it deep down the sidelines. Would not have gotten there and spiked by Matt Morrissey. And that's it. You see McSorley on the sidelines. He had never lost a home game in his career until the Ohio State game and now <laughs> lost back to back. Wow. Longest six seconds of my life. <laughs> Just, I'm like, really? I thought he was going to get a life. <laughs> I thought he was going to get a late penalty. I'm yeah. just like, something's going to I was happen. rewriting up my, my quick take, so I wanted it to last longer. Like, go 30 seconds. Keep, run back this way. <laughs> well, oh, a little bit like the play right? at the end of the game last year in Ann Arbor, except that one got to the end zone. Yeah, that This one, one was nowhere the near zone. the end zone. What did this win do for Michigan State's psyche? Uh, Jack, it was a vitamin B12 shot. It got this team off the mat, and now they actually believe in themselves. Swagger is back with them, and, and I think that they needed it. This was a referendum game. Had they gotten embarrassed by Penn State, I think that the season would have been done. I mean, you're already holding players only meetings, which tells me there's a little bit of not everybody's on the same page, so we got to correct this ship. If they would have lost, yeah. this thing would have, the season would have been lost. But now, you can salvage it. Now you can point back and say, we went to Penn State with yeah. half a roster and won. So Despite we, outgaining Penn State and dominating statistically, that game was lost if defensive back just catches the ball in the hands of so many ways. I mean, you got to field goal. Antonio says it's a game this of is, inches. Yeah. And it was. I mean, the field goal hitting the and, post. And Felton knocked that away, too. That wasn't just, I yeah. mean, he didn't, it wasn't as easy as it could have been. Felton made a play. Yeah, yeah. You know? came in on it. Rico, you had said that uh, Michigan State can't upset Michigan this year because they're not ranked, and historically they've done that when they had been a ranked team. Now they're back in the rankings. What does that mean? It means that maybe Mark D'Antonio gets win number 11 over a top 10 team. I mean, Michigan's coming in at number six, and I think this team needed it because if they did, if they would have lost, Michigan would have filled up the stands. You would have saw, probably saw 40% yellow up in there, and it would have become a Michigan home game. But now, I think that they believe it, and, and they're, they're ready to play. They have some swagger. You saw them jumping up and down, and, and, ju and you know, you, they were into the game, whereas we saw. They were just sitting on the sideline against Northwestern like, yeah. so where's the party at tonight? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Graham, uh, what does Michigan State's decade of dominance in this series mean, if anything, and how does Michigan State do what no team's been able to do to Michigan since September 1st? Well, it means a lot. First of all, it means you don't have to win to feel like you sort of flipped the script on that rivalry. This used to be sort of if you wanted your psyche to be okay, you had to beat Michigan. There are some realities physically where Michigan ought to win this game. Yeah. And that's, if you're Michigan, it's not okay if you're Michigan State, but it doesn't change the scope of what's happened over the last decade. So I think that's really important. How you actually win the game is exactly how you just beat Penn State. You hang in there. You just hang in the game. You don't let Michigan. Keep is, is, playing. You don't, let, you don't let Michigan smell blood, yeah. as Rico said. You don't let that defense roll you. you, you know, and, and if you can hang in there, you do have some playmakers. You still do. And, and you got a shot. And, and you also, you've done this rivalry better than Michigan over the last decade. The problem is, this Michigan team, I think, is to the point, this program, where they are desperate to beat Michigan State. Yeah. But see, I think the opposite. I think if Michigan State smells blood from Michigan, I think Michigan will go, not again, and I think State will be able to, to, to flip the script and bury them. All right, Tom. Uh, oh, they're going to get buried. Oh, good. 
Let's bring it. You have a question for me? I do. No, okay, really. good. You Why have seen uh, <laughs> this rivalry and what it means to Michigan State. I think we know what the Spartans are going to bring. That's every ounce they have from every player they can dress. But something tells me that the psyche for Michigan is a little different this year. It is. And uh, they're serious. And that's serious. That, uh, it's a culture change on the offensive line. They had honorary captains on Saturday night, including our good friend Doug Skeen, among all, the, all other All-American linemen. This offensive line, Ben Bredesen talked about it, much more physical than the past. They've been in the Ben Herbert the, in, the, in the weight room has been an impact on them as their conditioning coach. So I think you're going to see a much more physical team than you've seen in the past. Then, you know, like last year was not a very physical team at all. So I think your Michigan State's going to have to be dealing with that when, Michigan's, when Michigan comes into Spartan Stadium. No excuses, no fear. Michigan has got a situation right now where it can flip the script on this rivalry. Well, absolutely, right? and I'm glad Michigan State. I think there's, I think people want Michigan State to win that game. Let's let's make this a credible win. They, they can't flip the script. Oh, well, if I could for just for a second, please. When they won, when they beat them in 2016, I was like, ah, we were down that year. So I mean, that one doesn't count. Well, this team is ranked, so that's good for Michigan. They can get so a credible you lose, win. Then what? Have you even thought that? Far then Michigan ahead. State's a better team. Michigan. In the last you 25 years, team. you can't no, ever command my team. It's not possible. Every year. I, all well, going back to Mike Barowitz. Oh, we're going to be stronger. Okay. We're going to be faster. Whatever. We're going to drink chocolate milk. We're going to do this. We're gonna, we got Whatever. the secret weapon. We got get the secret break, Both get teams have been ranked in the last 25 years eight times. Michigan State's won six. Michigan's won two. We'll see how that works out. You can't flip the script on the rivalry. Too much has been done over the last decade. You got bigger things you're playing. They can say Harbaugh's two and two against D'Antonio if Michigan wins. We'll be right back. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Digit. Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. GM employee program participants with a current eligible GM lease get a low mileage lease on select 2018 Buick Enclave Essence models in stock for $259 per month. In business, the first rule is take care of the customer. David Chapman Agency takes care of business clients with money-saving options without reducing coverages like Michigan Insurance Company. And if there's an accident, we're with you every step of the way. David Chapman Agency, making insurance easy. Yodel Stoves and Fireplace Inserts at a focal point to your home. Save up to $300 on a Yodel Stove or Insert during our preseason sale. Honest, polite, and never pushy. Come see us at Superior Saw and Lakeside Fire and Grill between Holt and Mason on Cedar Street. I want to take back what's ours. All new Empire Wednesdays on Fox. Dad? It's the first day of Graf truck season. Oh, the new Silverado is amazing. It'll be amazing if you don't scare him away. There's one now. Drive off a new Silverado double cab, just $149 a month. Hey, that's not a truck. No, but it's still a trophy deal. Get a new Equinox LT, just $72 a month. And Graf will double the value of your trade-in, up to $4,000. I'm going to get me one. Why don't you try these keys instead? Bag your best deal now, only at a Graf dealership near you. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. I'm talking about chicken shawarma with baked breast meat and hummus made fresh in a three-day process. That's why I'm there every week. The Woody's items are now available at Tom's Foods and other local grocers. Two balls and no strikes. Taylor leads from first. Jeffress delivers. Fly ball to left. It's on its way, and it is gone! 
A home run for Justin Turner. <laughs> uh, you see Justin Turner after striking out four times on Friday, comes back, hits a game-winning homer on Saturday, evens this series, uh, Clayton Kershaw falling apart, it, none of it matters anymore. They're back to Dodger Stadium. Uh, Graham, uh, you spent a lot of time in transit this weekend, but compared to our other panelists, uh, you are some combination between uh, John Smoltz and Peter Gammons. Uh, with what you have seen thus far in the baseball playoffs, what jumps out to you? You've got a great game going right now as we tape with the Red Sox and Astros. Yeah, and, 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 and as we're taping this, it's, it's a really close game. I actually think the Red Sox are in a little bit of trouble here. And, and But what's I love that series. To me, that is the best two teams in baseball, and it's a lot of fun. Milwaukee, though, the way they do it with their pitching is interesting. I think we're all getting to see that now on display, the idea that they just start – an old reliever, they go as long, until the matchups don't work, they change that. It's, it's a style we've talked, we used to talk about on the radio, right. where the idea that you don't do the traditional thing where you start a starter and go six innings. It's interesting, they got the bullpen and the staff to do it. It's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, we've seen starters go two innings yeah. in these series. That's just completely turned around. Uh, Tom Crawford switching sports. We saw uh, the Lions with the week off, Vikings win. Bears lose. Yeah. Packers play tomorrow night, right, Monday night. against Rico's Niners. Uh, what do we know about the NFC North? And hey, we got a big game tonight with New England and, and it, Kansas and, City. And Chiefs, Some people yeah. think that could be an AFC championship game. Previously. Absolutely. I watched the Bears say, boy, the Bears missed an incredible opportunity to go 4-1. They, you know, they let the Dolphins beat them, and that, that game was very entertaining. I hope some of you got to see it. it was back and forth, back and forth, and they lose a, a field goal in overtime. Hey, the Lions, what I get out of it, Jack, is the Lions are pretty much – in, in the hunt as much as anybody. I know the, the Vikings yeah. won. To, they're like, what, 3-2-1. and one. They, You know, they got a tie in there. Right. But, I mean, right now upcoming, the Lions have the Dolphins next week. And then they have Seattle, two winnable games. The Seattle game's at home at 4-3 and three before they got the, the Bears and the Vikings. So I think they're right in the hunt, if you ask me. If the Packers beat the Niners tomorrow, as most people think should happen, Mason Crosby shows up. <laughs> then uh, the Lions will be the only team in the division with a losing record. Right. What does that mean, Graham? Nothing. It's so early. I mean, yeah. we've seen the Lions show promise. We've also seen their warts. I think, it's, I think what they've done is they've said they're going to be relevant into December. What that means, I don't know, but they're worth paying attention to. Rico, Kirk Cousins today, uh, we've all heard that, you like that, but today, uh, emotional. Uh, maybe not as emotionally what, as he was after the four straight wins over U of M when he was walking Walk the, the streets, streets yeah. right? 2008 to 2011. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, what do you think of his dance celebration now? Everyone's doing the cousins. <sighs> I, I don't even know what that what is. What is that? Where did it come from? I, I think You're going to see. Here he scores. I think he was trying okay, to do now, the, the little backpack dance. You know, let's, like, white guys he goes dance, into this, you know? and then it, 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 I hope it stays with this because afterwards <laughs> he really starts a giant – well, there you go. Yeah. So I, a little <laughs> bit more than people expected from uh, – White guys are supposed to have alcohol in them. I know. They when they dance. I think it was that little, little backpack dance yeah. thingy, but he couldn't do it and realize it, and then he just went full dad and just went out there yeah. and just did whatever. Yeah, that was a dance. He didn't team, bite his lip. Right, and, and the team was just like, yeah, okay. They, they were mocking him. They were, they were mocking him. I mean, that was, like, that's, you see yeah. something at the wedding reception. That's a yeah, good I mean, dance. seriously, yeah. he just went dad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't dance, so. <laughs> <laughs> the narrative tonight, again, as we tape this, Graham, it's either going to be uh, no one will ever be better than Tom Brady or Tom Brady, you're about to give over the throne to someone else and it just might be Patrick Mahomes. I think regardless of what happens, I've seen enough of Mahomes to think he is going to be in the class of the Brady yeah. uh, Breeze sort of uh, player. But I don't know if it's happening now and I don't know if he wins. But I, I love what I see from Patrick Mahomes. He has yeah. been my favorite player to watch by far. Speaking of Drew Brees, Tom, what about what Brees did? Uh, Monday night. Oh, yeah, that was uh, good. He is, uh, you know, a couple of uh, long passes short of, uh, of another milestone, uh, touchdowns now, and everything has fallen into place for him to be recognized as one of the all-time, all-time great quarterbacks, maybe one of the top five before it's all said and done. Could you have imagined Drew Brees in that position when well, he left Purdue? Well, that, that much, kneeling down and talking to his sons, talking to his sons, we yeah. were privy to that yeah. conversation. That yeah. it was, it's, a, it's a good message for a lot of dads, how you talk to your sons. Right. And uh, I think that was, he's an unbelievable guy. I mean, who knows how much, he could play another three or four years. Who knows? Yeah.
pretty healthy. We're talking about that. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get uh, Breeze at 44 and Brady at 45 playing in a game sometime. Be the oldest quarterback matchup ever. Yeah, I think. Well, the thing is about quarterbacks when they go when they when it goes it yeah. goes quickly. Yeah. You see it like Favre just. Bam. So Manning too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Rico said it went for Matthew Stafford at age 22. It went right down the same. Well, you got to get up here first. We'll be right back with our Take It to the Bank segment brought to you by Dart Bank. All our weekly guarantees up next. At Young Brothers and Daily, our showroom is designed to inspire you to create a fabulous living space both inside and out. Fireplaces, stone, brick, and furniture, most of which is made in the USA. Visit us at Young Brothers and Daily and see the many wonderful displays and design ideas in our showroom. Dr. Jacobs. It'll be another 10 minutes. No, that's too late. We need him now. He'll never make it. You have a history of deviating from protocol. This lawsuit could end your career. I have to tell the truth. The residence is all new then. Are you ready to experience your new city and all of its dysfunction? You're going to be all right. No! All new residence. Followed by an all-new 911 Monday on Fox. Get in the game during the Honda Summer Spectacular event because you should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. Mid Michigan's only local news at 6:30. Watch Fox 47 News at 6:30. Fox 47 News, the only local news weeknights at 6:30. Hey partner, looks like you got another ride to work. Lethal Weapon, all new Tuesday on Fox. Team Spirit, Face Paint, More Cowbell, Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Hello, my name is Dr. John Braccio, psychologist. If you or your child have problems with focus, inattention, sitting still, memory, concentration, these are traits of ADHD. Visit us at drjohnb.com. Your paycheck can be gone before you know it. We're here to help save your hard-earned wages. Discovering deals that are too good to be true. Shining a light on scams meant to rip you off. Watch Don't Waste Your Money with John Matteries. Tomorrow on Fox 47 News at 10. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment. Brought to you by Dart Bank. Dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. Remember Ryan Shazier, Ohio State, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then the paralysis? Here he is walking out onto That's the amazing. field at Cincinnati. And he says he's going to play again. Uh, don't do it, dude. Just Hard to believe. Uh, be healthy. Team 264, yesterday was proof of why we all love sports so much. Just when you least expect something to happen, right. it does. Tom Crawford, uh, what can we take to the bank about next Saturday's script in Spartan Stadium? Well, in Spartan Stadium, you're first of all going to see the MSU student section with the uh, dropping F-bombs about Jim Harbaugh. I mean, they did that in the Utah State game for some strange reason, uh, F. Jim Harbaugh. I'm not sure why they did that. Kids are stupid. Don't that's, blame just okay, their that's student section. Okay, that's the student section. buy. And then if Michigan, Michigan, State, don't do stuff if like Michigan that. State happens to win, you're going to get a lot of a couch burning over at Cedar Village. Kids that, are that's stupid. A, that's, that's everywhere. That's another guarantee. But I think in, 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 all, in all seriousness, you're going to see a very physical game. And I think it's going to get chippy. I think it truly is. Because you ask any former Michigan player, any yeah. former Michigan State player, you don't hang around the pile in this game because it's not like any other game. It's gonna, it's not for the timid, that's for sure. It's gonna be By crazy. the way, I think you should be upset with all these couch burning I find it very references. Offensive. <laughs> and if you want to say that young people do ridiculous things, I, I, I used to be the, among them. Yeah, I mean, you, you burn couches. It doesn't couches? seem like it no, happens but... elsewhere, with in terms of the burning couches, the way it does here. 
It no, does. It no. just gets covered heavily oh, here. Yeah, of course. I saw couches being burned after trouble with the snap game in Ann Arbor, <laughs> driving through <laughs> the streets, fake Tom. Media. I saw it. It wasn't <laughs> fake media. I saw fire. I saw people out there. I saw Michigan people drunk, burning you, you couches. Beat Penn ah! State. You beat Go Penn ahead. State. Rico, what's your lock about the game? Michigan, Michigan State. This is probably going to be the most anticipated uh, finding out who's the game time decisions because there are yeah, so many yeah, crucial people yeah. that can sway this thing one Both way or sides. another. Right. If uh, Rashad Gary, if he's not playing, yeah. you feel a little different. If he is playing, you know, are you going to get Daryl Stewart back? Are you going to get some off uh, Kevin Jarvis back? Are you going to get people back on both sides? So I think you're going to have reporters out there with the binoculars trying to find out who's going to play and who. This time, the chess game is going to be big for both coaches. As emotional as Rashawn Gary was last year after the game, I would guess it's going to be very difficult to keep him out of the I lineup. I mean, it right? was like he was at a I think funeral. I think he will dress. I guarantee you. Yeah. I think he will dress. Well, what about Michigan State, Graham? Are going to get some of these guys back? <laughs> I don't know. It, I, I, the offensive line, they actually found something, so I don't know if you want to mess with that entirely, but Daryl Stewart would make a big difference if he can cut. Huge. I mean, to get a guy who's that kind of playmaker, the pressure that takes off Felton Davis would be absolutely enormous. All right. Uh, what's your take? What's your guarantee? What's your lock? Well, okay. What we're going to see. This is my 50th straight Michigan-Michigan State game, so yeah. the guarantee is wow. I'm old. But other than that... Right, and, and keep in mind, I, I went 38-13 on Penn State over Michigan State, so take that. <laughs> well, you had the right month. score. You just had the wrong game. Right. We're talking about Michigan Wisconsin. <laughs> this is the year Michigan finally gets it done. I just think they're the better team. I think the circumstances for Michigan State are tough. And if I think if Michigan State was 100% healthy with the team they thought they'd have in August, this might be a different game. I think Michigan smelling blood. I think they're motivated. I think they're going to get done, and it's not. I don't think it's going to be a blow. This is this is these games don't usually right. wind up as blowouts, but I think this is the year they get it done. Yeah. What are you thinking about that, Rico? Does it depend who's healthy enough to I play? I think. I mean, honestly, before you can make a pick, I think you do need to know who's going to play. The thing about Michigan and Tom, no joking. I don't feel like they believe that they're going to win. They're like trying to hype themselves up, but I don't see the confidence that they're going to win at Michigan State. I want to see if Michigan can carry that energy on the road, and I think they That's can. That's it. That's the right. whole issue. Right. I agree totally with you. We know what they can do in Michigan State. They have Stadium. not proven it so far. We'll be right back with our cool and smooth segment, our weekly awards brought to you by Culver's up next. Dad? It's the first day of Graf truck season. Oh, the new Silverado is amazing. It'll be amazing if you don't scare him away. There's one now. Drive off a new Silverado double cab, just $149 a month. Hey, that's not a truck. No, but it's still a trophy deal. Get a new Equinox LT, just $72 a month. And Graf will double the value of your trade-in, up to $4,000. I'm gonna get me one. Why don't you try these keys instead? Bag your best deal now, only at a Graf dealership near you. Working with the Eyed Company, one, is very easy to do. Two, they're very responsive to our needs. And three, as we've grown as a company, they've listened to those needs and they've helped us plan out our future in terms of growth that needs to be done at this location. It's just comforting to know I'm working with the Eyed Company, knowing that they can accommodate our growth. In that way, they're, they're an excellent partner. Opportunities for retail, office, restaurant, and residential. Build the future as a member of the Eyed Company family. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Friday's number one new comedy, The Cool Kids, Fridays on Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a lawn that mows itself? <laughs> yeah, me neither. But the Husqvarna Auto Mower will mow the lawn for you, rain or shine. The Husqvarna Auto Mower charges automatically. It's silent, safe, there's virtually no maintenance, and your lawn will look like carpet. Here at Midwest Power Equipment, we are your one-stop shop for installation, service, and information. You might be thinking the Husqvarna Auto Mower sounds too good to be true. It's not. So come into Midwest Power Equipment today. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our cool and smooth segment, brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. 
Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. First down, Haskins drops back. Continuing to get that development that he needs. Haskins. Oh, what a catch! KJ Hill touchdown, Buckeyes. Ball game against Minnesota. Haskins. Deep touchdown. There you see Dwayne Haskins doing what he does so well. It's going to obliterate. Uh, passing record. They didn't show the defense getting yeah, marched up and down the yards, field upon by Minnesota. Four, uh, the 400 right. yards that yeah. Minnesota got. Ohio State has serious deficiencies. Yeah. But the one thing they do, they do really well. And uh, no JT Barrett. Somebody told me that Urban Meyer is just like gnashing his teeth. He hates this. He wants a running quarterback and he doesn't have one. So. You're going to see, though, Penn State show what you can do with Haskins. If you blitz him, if you yeah. make him uncomfortable, yeah. he hasn't seen a lot of that yet and he can be had. And, That's and, why I think Michigan has a chance. Yeah against Ohio State because they're going oh, to put pressure yep. on Haskins. Good chance. All right, uh, Team 264. Who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint Explosion this week? Rico Beard, let's start with you and our play of the week. Play of the week, you know, the one I was going to go with would have been the fake field goal. If it would have worked, you know, I'm yeah. just giving it up for the big fellas, okay? Yeah. Raekwon, Even so, you should have gotten it, but... Little Giants think, 2. Little Giants 2, the sequel. I still think that was a good call. I will defend this. You got half a team. You go to Penn State to win. Yes. But I got to go with the obvious play. Felton Davis going into the huddle and telling, I guess Dave Warner said, hey, either you throw a hitch route or you can throw it deep. And he told the worky, hey, we're going deep. Yeah. They're expecting us to play for the field goal. Yeah. Let's just go for the win. And you did it. And you left just enough time that Penn State couldn't do anything but run two plays. So I got to give it to Felton Davis and for coming back and making a difficult catch, not falling, not going out of bounds, yeah. but making it into the end zone and scoring and giving Michigan State their 10th victory over a top 10 team and rejuvenating this team. We may look back at this game and say the season was in the crossroads and because of this game, a lot of things changed, changed for the better. Graham Couch, what about our game of the week? And to piggyback on that, not just this season. This is a group that has a lot of people back next year. Yeah. I think this was a pivotal game for this group. Um, game of the week, I'm going to go. It's, it's got to be Rutgers, Illinois. No, uh, it, look, it was, it was in State College. Speaking of which, I have to interrupt you for one second. Rutgers had eight passing yards in that mm -hmm. game, eight, and had five interceptions. Again, game of the week, all over. Yeah. Was uh, a Wisconsin quarterback? Did he, tr did he play two games? <laughs> played twice. No, it, it's obviously out in State College because it, 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 what it did for MSU, the way they hung out, and, and the fact that it was everything that Mark D'Antonio has done so many times in this program. I, I, I viewed it as the fourth um, of the turn of events moments in the Mark D'Antonio era in the top four. It's up there with 2015 in the punt. It's up there with 2015 and Ohio State, and it's up there with 2013 and after Notre Dame going to Iowa and then the nine straight Big Ten wins by double digits. This is number four. What about four. the win in the uh, 2013 Big Ten Championship game over Ohio State? That was less improbable. This was more improbable. Okay. That, at that point, that team was rolling. Yeah. And you had guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have gone to Rose Bowl anyway. Yeah. This, this, this was as improbable, more improbable than anything other than those other three. All right. Uh, I think you could say game of the week, the Michigan game was pretty good too. Tom, team of the week is? Oh, I was going to give it to Michigan State, but screw them because this guy's really pissed me off today. So I'm going to go with Ferris State Bulldogs, there you go. baby. Love it. They knocked off Grand Valley, number three, number two in the nation in Division Two. Great game, 16,000 fans. Player of the week, he's not a player, but Ed Bellis passed away in a tragic accident uh, this week. Age 68, he was one of the ultimate Spartans. Uh, everyone who knew him was enriched by that experience. Made every room that he was in a lot of fun. Ed, we're all going to miss you. We know what you were thinking on that last pass to Felton Davis. Tom Crawford, Rico Beard, Graham Couch. We'll be back next week, and we're going to dissect this game in detail. We'll all be back for that. We'll see you at noon Saturday at Spartan Stadium and on the radio this week. Spotlight Radio Network. Have a great week, everyone.